Utah is incredibly charming. It has this way of really kind of just pulling you in. You can find yourself in so many different environments. It exudes that energy and that life. My name is Viet Pham. I am a chef restaurateur here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm taking Chef Vale Cantu to all the places that I truly enjoy as a chef to give him a sense of perspective. Here in Utah, it's much more connected to nature than most big cities. It's a young and exciting scene that feels like it's growing. It just all of a sudden got warm, right? Yeah. It was so cold. Yeah. Cafe de Bola, it's this really eccentric coffee shop. Hey, John. Hello. How are you? John PK. He's one of the most amazing and talented coffee roasters that I know. Everything comes down to the roasting. That's the most important part of the whole coffee process. He was the first guy that introduced me to siphon coffee. Siphon is really about creating clarity in the cup, so it kind of shows the coffee for what it is. Siphon will extract more flavors in a wider dynamic flavor range than any other coffee brewing method, and that's factual to help preserve that balance between flavor and aromatics. We use very specific paper to tulip shaped cups. Everything's about understanding all the elements that go into the cup. John is a coffee phenom. What he's doing there is definitely like a very refined vision of delicately curated coffee. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Crevinelli produced some of the best salamis in the yeah. world. You know, the salami was born basically by mistake. The Roman put the meat close to the cheese. The bacteria transferred from the cheese to the meat, and they did the first fermentation of the meat. Our philosophy, we want to try to do a really traditional product, but more than everything, try to do a really clean product. No preservatives, no nitrates, using local animals. Here is the first aging room where we age the salami, just arriving out of the fermentation. The goal here is actually to work a little bit with the humidity and temperature to dry the salami in the perfect way. Cristiano Criminelli exudes that pursuit of perfection. Park City is an incredibly quaint, small town. At Tupelo, Matt Harris he does a really good job showing Utah ingredients as well as his love for Southern food. Park City, it's a lively place. There's definitely a scene here. We kind of got to bring some big city techniques to the table. Roast Brussels sprouts with pickled carrots finished in roasted Korean chili paste. The chicken fried rabbit leg with dumplings and buttermilk gravy. What is really unique about Tupelo is being that we're in the mountain states, you know, you don't get a lot of really good southern food here. In Utah, during the colder months, we really have to work with what we have. From that, it breeds a lot of creativity. I've been a fan of Handel for like years now. We have stayed focused on preserving produce at the height of the season and we use that to supplement us throughout the winter. Pan roasted brine pork chop with a bit of quince, black garlic, vinaigrette, and cipollini onions with cipollini apple cider glaze. Nice. Dude, that's a sexy looking pork chop. <laughs> Perspective is extremely important in our career, in our craft, to create things that are memorable. We need experience, we need that perspective. What's happening here in Salt Lake City and Park City is chefs are being inspired by nature to develop a cuisine that speaks of time and place while also still being like delicious and approachable. Something a little bit more wild, young, and still something that you can tap into and feel like you're a part of it. 